Greetings, little demons. It is I, your host, your fallen angel, Yohane. Tonight, we will be reading Cemetery Soup from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Now, for this one, I'm going to need an extra pair of eyes. Cemetery Soup. On her way home from the market, the woman took a shortcut through the cemetery. There, sticking up out of the ground, she saw a big bone. She picked it up and looked over it carefully. This will make a very good soup bone, she said. I think I'll take it home. It's perfect weather for hot soup. When she got home, the first thing she did was start the soup. Into the big soup pot went the carrots, water, green beans, corn, barley, onions, potatoes, and a snitch of beef, some salt and pepper, and the bone. She brought it all to a boil, then brought it down to a simmer. Yum, she said, sniffing it and tasting it. I can hardly wait till supper. Suddenly, she heard a small voice. Please give me back my bone. The woman paid no attention. Soon, she heard the voice again. May I have my bone, please? The woman was reading the newspaper, and again, she didn't take any notice. In a little while, the voice spoke up once more. It was beginning to sound angry. Give me back my bone. The woman kept reading the paper. Some people are too impatient, she muttered. Once more, the voice spoke. Now it sounded very angry, and it was so loud, the whole house shook. I want my bone back. The woman reached into the pot, grabbed the bone, and threw it out the window. In a voice just as loud, she shouted, Take it! There was an eerie silence. Then a woman heard footsteps scurrying away from the house down the road towards the cemetery. And she got up and served herself some soup. That was Cemetery Soup by Alvin Swartz. Stay spooky, little demons, and call me on the Ouija board sometime. Hey everyone, this is Eric Gagami. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate your patronage to the 13 days of Johanne Ween. This is a, was a fun series to record. I hope that you enjoyed hearing me read some of my favorite scary stories when I was 10 years old. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe, support our Ko-Fi, Feel free to donate to our PayPal so we can keep making more content. Normally, we would be posting convention reviews and podcasts right now on this channel, but because of the situation we're in, we're just doing our best to just uh, make content for y'all. So, yeah, give us a like, subscribe, and hopefully when things get better, definitely um, give us a holler out at the next con that we're at. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Take care now and stay spooky, little demons.